So do you have a lot of poetry performers come here to the university? No, we don't. You do not? We do not. Really? So Normally you, we have musicians come on campus. Very few poets, huh? Yeah. So what are your thoughts about this? How do you think this is going to go? Well, we've been trying to promote it as much as we can. <laughs> so, I mean, especially English people, we hope that they come. You don't but mean from Britain, you mean? We would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so, but... You know, they would have to pay for their flights, <laughs> yeah, and we can't point. promise them a hotel at the Double Tree. <laughs> I'm saying Double Tree because I hope that they'll watch this. <laughs> so, you promote it as much as you as you can, you hope it's going to go well. Mm -hmm. Yourself, what are your thoughts about poetry, like spoken word poetry? Is this something that really moves? I actually was never really into spoken word poetry, mm -hmm. up until I went to the NAC NACA convention, mm -hmm. so... That's where we saw you at NACA West, mm -hmm. as well as this past year was my first time going to Nash the National Convention in okay. St. Louis, mm -hmm. and just hearing all these different poets. First of all, I had no idea how you remember all that. I barely remember what I have to do. <laughs> I barely have, I have trouble remembering what I have to do every morning, and if I have to remember what I did for breakfast, I would, can't even tell you. You can't do, okay, okay. It's, it's uh, you know, you just repeat it, I repeat it, and repeat it, and repeat it, until I finally remember it. So, yeah. So all right. So I it heard, moved you. Wait, how many times do you have to repeat it? Because I heard Jay Z has to repeat something eighteen times just for him to remember it. Oh, I repeated far more than that. Far more. Well, before you first perform a poem online, uh, on live stage? on stage. Oh, before before. Like before, between the writing process and actually going on stage. Before between the writing and going on stage, I have to probably repeat that poem hundreds of times. Hundreds. And that's a long poem. It's a lot of times before I can. I have to repeat it until I've gotten every little word and nuance of it into my head. And then I have to turn on my TV as loud as I can and recite it with the TV going. And if I can recite it with the TV going, then I know it. Is it just to avoid, like, kind of... Well, it's to give me a sure. distraction. Yeah. You have, have a loud, distracting noise. And if I can do it with Jersey Shore going, then I know it. I'm doing good. Although at coffee houses, do we really have people, like, distracting you? Like, yeah! Well... I do I do these, but I, I do nightclubs. Oh, true. And then nightclubs, it can get it can get rowdy. Especially Atlanta. It, especially <laughs> Atlanta. Especially Atlanta. You know, so you gotta you gotta know you gotta be able to avoid avoid the distractions. If I ever roll around Atlanta, where should I go? Um, if you want some good soul food, you go to Big Daddy's on Old National. If you want some good uh, Thai food, Little Bangkok. It's on Cheshire Bridge. If you want some good Italian food, you go to Alfredo. How about I'm Mexican? So is there any Mexican in there? Let me tell you this. It's an entire section of town you can go to, oh, but you will God. not find it a single sign in English. It's oh. just every everything is written in Spanish, every last single sign. I'm going there. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a good time. <laughs> I was close that. to actually going to Atlanta this for April uh -huh. just because I'm a big wrestling fan. WrestleMania is going to be Atlanta. <laughs> I was like all over it. Ready and I didn't get any tickets. So. Wow! You see, you gotta come. You gotta bring your flannel shirt. You gotta bring your big truck. Your big four by four. You know, you gotta you gotta fit in. You gotta get you a right. mullet. You don't have a mullet going. You gotta get you a mullet going. I just cut my hair. You gotta get. <laughs> you had I could have grown it out. You had a mullet before. No, this? I could have grown it out and then just like shaved sides. There you go. And then that's what you gotta do. Party but WrestleMania, you gotta you gotta show up. You gotta dress the part. They don't no. dress up like that. Sorry. They don't do it. No. Nope. Have you been to Atlanta? No, <laughs> it might be a whole new audience. For black people, it's called a shag. But it's a long afro hanging in the back and it's cut short on the top. I had one when I was a wee lad because my mother was a fan of it and she was fan for the haircut. Fantastic, thank you. Right, thank you. Yeah, man. It'll be perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Like I'm just like some jailhouse blues. Through. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got the rainy, like, rainy outside. I've been trying to figure out how to play this out. I've been trying to actually Good. learn the notes. I have no idea. Me neither. I'm going to be on the plane when we kick off. <laughs> you will get kicked off. <laughs>